Hello everyone, Zero Kimchi here, your source for Android emulation news and gameplays. We're finally circling back to WinLater again as modders are making moves on the latest WinLater 8.0. Today's video will showcase WinLater Frost 8.0 which includes all the bells and whistles of the new official WinLater and more. I will also showcase the new prefix mod by Ajay version 10.12. I will guide you where to download and how to install this mod as well as guide you how to move your existing save files, which is only required to be done once after installing the prefix mod the first time. Let's get started. First off, let's download Ajay's prefix mod, which we need later. The link is in the description and pinned comment of the video below. Now let's download WinLater Frost 8.0. For this demonstration I will be using the normal APK, not the bench APK. After installing the APK, you will be greeted with this empty screen. In the side menu, you will notice the absence of the content option which is only available in the glibc versions of modded winlaters. This version uses Prout, however. First, let's take a look at the settings menu, which is the first thing you should do and adjust. The settings menu has been completely overhauled. We now see the mouse settings has been moved to the top. We now also have the option to choose a preferred input API. It can be set to Auto, which WinLater will automatically detect which input API the game is using, supposedly. There's Direct Input, X Input and then both. Under Box64 version, you can choose between all these versions here. Everything else is the same. Until we get to Wine version, which has moved to the bottom. All the way to the right, we see two new icons to install and delete a Wine version. Now let's go back and create a container. Like usual, we tap on the plus button. This screen hasn't changed much, just the addition of a configure button on some options. When we configure Turnip for example, it lets you choose a version and there is also a new option called sync every frame. For DXVK, it's the same, with the new addition of selecting a GPU. This I always keep on RTX 3070. Then there is the audio driver with a new configure button. You can adjust the performance mode which might affect the resources being allocated to the audio module and make it sound less glitchy or crack crackly. There is a volume slider and an average latency slider which could also affect crackling. Further down we'll see a new DPI slider which can be used to adjust the font size inside the container. Wind components remains the same. Environment variables, these always vary between WinLater mods. I like the addition of the Gallium HUD finally. Although, if you are using the input mod Xeni to fix input issues on some games, which I showcased in a video a while ago, I'd suggest adding Wine DLL overrides with the value. D Additionally, if you install Mono, which I'll cover in a bit, and find that your game's apps no longer work, Try adding this variable. Lastly, the advanced tab remains the same as well. Once you have set up your container, on the main screen you will notice a new play button, which is very handy. You no longer need to tap on the three dots button to open the container. Let's go ahead and run the container. The first thing to do is install Ajay's prefix mod. Mine was downloaded to the downloads folder in my phone storage. Let's go ahead and double click this, it will start to extract the files. Once that's done, a command line window will pop up, let it run for a while. At 100%, a prompt appears telling you to restart the container. Let's do exactly that. Now if you check the start menu, all of Ajay's additions will be present. It is recommended to run the install necessary files bat file. This installs necessary dependencies which are needed to run games like Visual C++ redistributions, Mono, Gecko, Net Framework, etc. On the Open All prompt, just tap OK and OK again. Now, to move your saved games, go to the C drive, Users, X User, and copy App Data, Documents, and Save Games folder. Navigate to the D drive, AJ Prefix, Save Data, Users, and X User. Paste them here and accept overwriting each time. And that's it. Now you never need to manually back up your saves again before uninstalling WinLater. However, do note if you stop using Ajay's prefix mod and you want your save games to load, then you need to move them back to the WinLater C drive. And I think we covered every basis. Oh, there's one more thing. On the side menu, 
There is a new screen effect option which allows you to make color adjustments and also add FXAA and a SRT shatter filter, which is pretty cool. And that's it for today. But before you go, a little announcement. This channel will soon be overhauled to a gameplays channel. This decision comes after recent controversial events concerning Nintendo that might put this channel at risk. Also, honestly, there isn't that much content to create in this topic anymore anyways. Developments are too slow and with little to no substantial changes. So, after careful consideration, I will be unlisting all videos related to the topic and possibly create a second account for that topic instead, with a more careful approach to avoid strikes. Win later videos, however, are here to stay. Thank you for understanding. Be sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates. That is, if you are staying for PC gameplay videos. If you do decide to leave or move to the other channel, thank you for your amazing support. I really couldn't have done it without you. It was amazing fun creating these videos and interacting with the community, even if it was brief. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time.